Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Robert J. Gilbert, the founder of the Vesica Institute for Holistic Studies. In this episode, we will explore some of the most important secrets behind our human life on Earth. This will lead us into hidden aspects of the human vehicle of soul travel, the Merkaba, which have not been made public previously. This will lead at the end of the episode to your experiencing the activation of a little known Merkaba sacred geometry pattern in your own energy field. The first thing we must recognize when we explore the secrets behind our physical incarnation is that we all struggle to find deeper meaning in our lives. Every day we have to find a reason to get out of bed and deal with all kinds of challenges. Sometimes this means experiencing overwhelming amounts of physical or emotional pain, stress, and disappointment. These painful and challenging situations of our earthly life, which we all go through, are one aspect of what classical spiritual traditions refer to as initiation trials. The reality is this, that until we decide to wake up and fully engage with core issues of our spiritual development, our initiation trials and life lessons will be through the school of hard knocks. This means really becoming conscious of our subconscious patterns, what kinds of thoughts and emotions we are constantly creating, what actions we are taking or avoiding taking, which create the conditions of our lives. This blundering repeatedly through the same painful life experiences and reacting destructively to them without seeking the deeper meaning and patterns behind these experiences is what Buddhists refer to as unskillful action. Just like grades in school, whatever trials we fail, we have to repeat until we finally pass them. When we are stuck in lower states of consciousness, we may suffer needlessly through the same trials, the same painful situations and life lessons which we constantly recreate, not just in our current lifetime, but actually in multiple lifetimes. This can become for us a kind of hell on earth, or as the Tibetans would say, a hell realm. As we constantly cycle through the same trial, lifetime after lifetime, until we find the way out. This way out of the hell realm we have created for ourselves means consciously understanding the situation and choosing to transform our consciousness and our actions to create a different future for ourselves. When we spiritually awaken and learn to perceive the key sacred geometry patterns which guide and control our earthly existence, we can then much more quickly resolve painful life situations, successfully completing the trial and moving forward into actualizing our full potential. This is what Buddhists refer to as skillful action. Human life is itself a grand initiation trial, created for the education and spiritual evolution of a young group of spiritual beings, the human race. Every one of us on the path of spiritual awakening has at some point the overwhelming realization that we have only a very limited time in our earthly incarnation, and that we suffer from having no clear answers to the core existential questions of our earthly life. Who am I? How did I get here? Why am I here? Do I have a greater purpose to this lifetime, something I am meant to accomplish? Or are we all just what modern materialism says we are, simply a biochemical machine, an accidental and meaningless mixture of chemicals with only the illusion of being conscious, with no existence before birth or after death, no spirit, no greater purpose or potential at all? Materialism has robbed so many of us of hope, of purpose, of the keys to the great spiritual knowledge which was gathered together by the suffering and striving of all of our ancestors. This is what sacred geometry can offer us, the restoration of the essential knowledge 
of what it is to be a human being, to know our true nature, our real potential, our unlimited dynamic possibilities to become so much more than we are right now. This leads us to a great initiation saying from the Rosicrucian tradition of Europe. In the beginning was the memory. To understand the meaning of the saying, we need to see the patterns which were known to the ancients as the draft of forgetfulness and the draft of remembrance. The draft of forgetfulness means that every time our spirit incarnates into a new physical body, we have a new form which does not hold inside of its brain and body the memories of our previous incarnations. These memories are encoded instead within the sacred geometry structures of our subtle bodies, our bodies of energy and consciousness which stay with us through multiple incarnations. These memories are not in the physical body, which falls away and disintegrates after every lifetime, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. On the path of spiritual awakening, we can perform two essential types of exercises which allow us to overcome the draft of forgetfulness and to take what was known as the draft of remembrance to begin to clearly remember who we are and why we are here. These first exercises are designed to awaken the sleeping superpower in every human being, which is our mind power. First, we have to quiet what is referred to in the East as the monkey mind chatter, the constant hyperactivity of our mind stuck in loops which only exhaust us and bring no peace or meaning to our lives. Overcoming the monkey mind chatter is done through clear mind exercises, where we learn to focus on the still and silent gap which lies between the thoughts of the internal chatter so that our thoughts become conscious, focused, calm, instead of running wild and out of control. The clear mind practices then lead to mindfulness practices, where we use our clear mind power to be fully present and really observe the true nature of our own thinking, our feelings, and our actions in the world. We then see and experience the reality of everything around us, rather than distorting everything through our own filters and projections. Once we have harnessed our divine mind power through the clear mind and then mindfulness practices, we can then enter into the deeper spiritual initiation practices. These deeper initiation practices were known to the ancients to awaken our subtle bodies, which hold the memories of our previous lifetimes and the knowledge of our core spiritual essence. Just as we need the sense organs of our physical body to perceive the physical world around us through sight, hearing, smell, etc., so we need to use our mindfulness applied to our own subtle bodies to create new organs of spiritual perception. In time, this allows us to start perceiving the invisible worlds of energy and consciousness which create the physical world and which connect us to higher realms of existence. With this in mind, we can now enter into the deeper sacred geometry patterns which will help reveal the secrets of who we are and how we came to be here in our current earthly life. The individual spirit beings, including human beings, created as sparks from the divine fire ocean of the primordial unity of the One, are known as holy monads in some traditions. These holy monads are created in groups which then go through stages of awakening to become self-aware and then to attain higher cosmic consciousness. In the Western tradition, these groups of monads which attained higher awareness and powers in cycles of development long before the human race was created are known as the angelic ranks. The angels are one step above us in the evolutionary spiral, having gone through their self-awareness stage one cycle ago. The archangels are two steps above us, having attained self-awareness two cycles ago. 
The Archai are three steps above us, etc. The European Rosicrucians have esoteric names for each of these angelic ranks, indicating their esoteric powers and their functions in the universe. For example, the oldest and most developed of the angelic ranks of which we are aware are the Seraphim, which are the spirits of pure love. The next most advanced rank are the Cherubim, spirits of harmony. Then come the Thrones, spirits of willpower. Then the Curiotites, who are spirits of wisdom, etc. The human race is the latest cycle of beings to become self-aware, which happened recently enough that we are still in a difficult stage of cosmic adolescence. The esoteric name for human beings in the Rosicrucian tradition is that we are spirits of love and freedom. For human beings, our spiritual power is based on creating the perfect balance between love which unifies us with other beings, allowing us to merge with them. And, on the other hand, freedom, which gives us the ability to be independent and make our own choices in crafting our lives. It is this dynamic balancing of love and freedom which gives us our greatest challenges in this lifetime. From our original divine essence, as a microcosmic emanation of the One, the Godhead, we then individualize into a unique spiritual being in the universe. Our individual experiences form our unique self, our personality. Just as all snowflakes are crystallized water, so every human being is crystallized spirit. Just as every snowflake has a completely unique geometric form, so every human being has a unique geometric form of their subtle bodies, making every person an irreplaceable, unique work of art in the cosmos.